Hi, I'm Terry Merkley, and I represent Frau for measuring whitetail and moose and bear. Today we're going to measure a whitetail antler, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that, and then we're going to actually measure. So what you first do is you measure the main beam. So you start at the base, and you measure the outside to the end. Then you measure each point, and you take and you take a steel tape and hold it to get your center line of where the the uh, actual tine comes off of the main beam and you put a pencil mark and then you measure each of those then you do four circumference measurements you do one between the burr and the first point then you do another one between the first point and the second point between the third and fourth point and when you have only four you always do four no matter how many points then you take and you measure a line directly down the last tine and you go to the end of the main beam and you do it directly in the middle. And that's how you score a whitetail antler. Okay, we're gonna get started. So, we're gonna take and measure the main beam. So, we take and you draw where the eye would be, you come back on a 45 and up, and that's where we'll start. And we're gonna use a cable here. And we have an alligator clip. So these are all things that you can easily get. Sometimes you slip and you'll have to start over. So we got 22 and 4 eighths. Break that down. Now we're going to mark our points so that we can measure each tine. When you have a tine that rolls back like this, you want to do it from this side because the measurement will be longer from this side than this side here. So we're going to just put a mark with a pencil. the other points. Okay. So a deer antler has to be measured by eighths. So you always have to measure by the eighth. So this point is five and six eighths long. Which we call the G1. The G2 we'll do next. And it is six even. The G3, be our last one. And it is six and seven eighths. Now we do four circumferences, so we'll do the first one. And you always do the smallest circumference within within the, uh, between the, the first point and the base and all the rest of them as well. It's always the smallest. So four and two eighths. Three and six eighths. Three and seven eighths. And for this one here, because there's not an extra point here, 
we measure, we do a center line from the G3 to the end of the main beam and do it right in the middle. So we're going to go at 5, so we'll mark at 5 just so we don't lose it. And we've got 2 and 6 eighths. So we'll just add that up. So we've got 55 and 6 eighths for a tally on this antler, 55 and 6 eighths. So that's how you score a white tail antler.